Assalamualaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam Is the spinning, whirling of the dervish during zikr representing the spinning of the electron? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what it is. That was one way that Sayyidina Jalaluddin was teaching but the Sallallahu Siru, his students the same haqqaiq. They're all teaching the same whether they were standing and doing the hadra, where they were spinning and doing the sama or whether they were sitting and doing the meditation, it was all the same haqqaiq taught in different ways. So that the students who wanted to understand the way of the sama and world, they would whirl around their heart, the center of their universe is their left foot, their heart, that they reach to the heavens with their hand and that they give back to creation with their left hand and as a result they become a vehicle of perfection. And the sama was imitating the electrons and that the heart was the nucleus and that you have to rotate around the heart. Actual dunya the shaitan is trying to make people rotate away from their heart and make their heart follow them. But I have to whirl around my heart, I have to make my body to follow my heart under Allah's command but not take my heart to follow my body where it doesn't want to go. So that was the teaching of the sama. And all of the rituals in that teaching were based on the haqqaiq which alhamdulillah Naqshbandiya hold that reality because it's from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq so Sayyidina Jalaluddin was teaching the sama, its haqqaiq is from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq When he heard the hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad that he described that, you will be with whom you love. As a result of the immensity of that hadith Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq got up, held his jubba and then whirled in the reality of the jubba out of his happiness that a confirmation and the fear that maybe my amal is not enough but Allah is granting for us, no, no, you be with whom you love regardless of your amal and the, the perfection of its amal, the state of that amal. Imagine if the Siddiq al-Mutlaq, the perfected truthful servant of Allah was worried, imagine everybody else in, in creation. That's why that hadith is so powerful for us now. That if we were going to come with our actions then you know, that would be very difficult. But we're coming from this love that Ya Rabbi grant us love and let our love to show, let our actions of love to show and don't judge our love because love can't be judged. And that let us to compete in love to everybody to do better and more. As a result with that love that hadith is our power. You'll be with whom you love. So our love is for Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah.